So this is Vandelver and Below, Chapter 6, and you all have traveled east to the Star Middle Mountains, where you have found a dwarven temple called uh, Talhundareth, and you are exploring this dwarven temple, inside which you have found some very mutated humanoids. You were seeing some signs of that possibly starting to happen in Vandalin, so it's pretty concerning if this is what the final state is, because they are really really mutated in the state they're they're getting in and they seem just absolutely um like their minds have been completely corrupted you have discovered that this dwarven temple is long abandoned uh it looks like the last time the dwarves might have lived here was when they were overrun by the mind flayers and these mutates have moved in you think somewhere in here you hope to find a black obelisk and that's where you were exploring you just fought a couple of you just fought a mutated humanoid who was defacing an old dwarven statue and that battle just wrapped up so for some reason gimbal has left you but ozzy's still here and loam has joined you so that's where the adventure is you guys can regroup together wherever you want and take a short rest and before we do that let's do some quick character intros so we'll start with uh we'll just do left to right reading order on the map here loam go ahead oh let me move you to the map Ping you there so you can see your characters. There we go. And Loam, back from traveling on some mysterious errand. Go ahead. Yeah, Loam is a wood elf ranger who grew up in the forest and is now out in the world trying to find his way and discover his uh, his path. Next, we got Jeff the Goblin, who might have technical difficulties. We'll come back to Jeff. Next, we have... Oh, no, Jeff's up. Go ahead, yeah, Jeff. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff is uh, a former Kragma goblin that um, was rescued by his new companions here, basically. It's, and he just wants to open a simple shoe shop in Fandolin. Next is Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy is a traveling warrior uh, out to do good and help the people of Faerun. Uh, him and his partner, Jenny the Dragon, are always willing to uh, help. He's a sneaky boy, and uh, yeah, he, he likes to get in with his sword. He He's desperately searching for a shield and wishes <laughs> he could travel back to town and, and purchase one with the gold he's gotten. But unfortunately, he's stuck in this dank dungeon. You mean our new party tank? Is that what you're saying? Yes, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other tank. AL rule I saw that's updated. I don't know if, Robert, you remember if it... If it used to be something different, is it 500 gold now for a fifth level character, and was it different before? Uh, you got nothing. Nothing before. Now you get 500 gold. And, and it's just Rob, Tom. Just Rob. <laughs> Titus, go ahead. Only my, only my mother calls me Robert. Like, I keep looking uh. behind my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is he talking to? But yes, we also have Titus. Uh, Titus is a fire genasi who uh, grew up in the Outlands and heard of this uh, world, Toriel that uh, has all kinds of craziness happening. And Titus decided to travel there and find out what's going on, only to be brought into this menace of these, uh, what something's going on in the town of Phandalin. Uh, so Titus, being a wildfire druid, has uh, taken up with these fine adventurers and is seeking to put an end to this psionic menace. That's uh, yeah, seventh level wildfire druid. And all right. Fiery friends. And Califon. All right, yep. So Califon is our uh, seagull samurai, our uh, Brewster from the peninsula of Chult. He is a monk and uh, adventurer, or more like a wanderer, looking for different recipes for IPAs and other uh, sour beers. That's Califon. Sour beers. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just shift pinged. So hopefully that gets everyone where you see your characters. If not, you might need to reload. Uh, need to yeah, reload. no, I, I see the Shrine of the Drag War Princess. <laughs> Give me one sec. Oh, sorry. I'm I put you on the wrong sheet. <laughs> sorry. Here we go. Oh. Now you're on the right sheet. And I'm pinging you to the right spot. All right, there we go. Yeah. Perfect. Now we're good. Okay. So there you are. The body of the dead mutate there in the hall. And where do you guys want to go? Yeah, I think I think as the GM <laughs> suggested, a, a short rest is in order. We're all pretty beat up. <laughs> all right, uh, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, where do you want to go to do your short rest? Uh, I, I stay where we took the last one in here. 
Okay. Yeah, I, I think the kitchen might be a good spot. We can like stoke up a little fire in there and cook some wieners or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, you guys backtrack at least to the big room, and then you can retreat to the kitchen should you see any danger coming. So you can go ahead and do a short rest. Spend any hit dice you want to spend. Yeah. Cover your short rest powers. It goes by uneventfully and safely. And after it's completed, where do you want to go? So I don't think we've cleared this level. So where Titus's icon is, I think potentially that's where we want to go. Okay. You want to go through that door that Titus is standing by? And who's going to take the lead? I mean, Ozzy, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. I have to heal my dragon. Uh I think my sheet got reset last time. I didn't save it. I don't know have. what I have in terms of uh, hit dice left. Yeah, just use your best judgment. All right. I, I, I definitely used a couple from that one fight. So uh, we'll say I got like four left. So I'll use one on myself. And the dragon's fully... Uh, I had to summon it again. I remember that. So let's roll a couple of d10s for her. Uh, what's that? Plus four, so 13. 19, 39. I'll roll one more d10. Why not? She's back to full, and I'll heal myself as well. Back to back to full there. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so you come to the door that Titus was standing by in that hallway, and there is no traps on the door. No sound can be heard beyond it. When you open it, there's a short flight of steps that lead up. And All it right. Up. It goes up. Yep. Whoever takes the lead... Go ahead and uh, put your guy in the next step up. Hey, right. Ozzy, you're the, ones that, you're the one that wanted a shield, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do need a shield. All right. Hey, Ozzy, if you're going to tank for us, you can take this wooden shield that I've got. Oh, okay. there you go, Ozzy. Hooray! Because <laughs> me holding the shield doesn't really matter, because I'm going to get hit anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've added shield in all caps. Thank God. <laughs> so, Ozzy, your arm class is 18 now. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And you won't be able to switch to your longbow and the stick in action to un uh, whatever it's called. Stow the shield. Yeah, that's okay. the shield. I like to fight with my rapier. Okay. I have daggers now that I can throw as well. So <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll take a step you into back the room. Up. You can back Jenny. up one. You guys can both back up one. Because you can see oh, into okay. the room and you get up to the top of the stairs, peek over the top of the stairs. You see um gotcha. some people in here. You see uh to your left. Four large stone chairs with wide armrests pushed to the side. And they pushed to the side to make room for some bedrolls. And three drow actually standing back, basically at the back wall, very tensely, like they're waiting for whatever's going to come. And they have uh, their crossbows leveled, but they don't fire. Um, they are very tense looking. So, Ozzy, what do you want to do? Hello there, lads. Do any of you speak the trade tongue? Oh, let's see. Also make a charisma check for me. All right. Obviously. Will do. Ooh, well done. Uh, they seem a little bit less tense, but don't seem to understand. Then they try Elvish. Do you speak Elvish? I do not. Uh... <laughs> they try Undercommon? Uh, yeah, it's it's all Greek to me. <laughs> what do you I want speak to do, Elvish and Undercommon. Uh, so, sorry, Lads, uh, one moment. I think one of my uh, one of my companions might be able to speak to you. Okay, just just a second. I'll I'll back up slowly. You know, showing my hands like I'm just holding a shield and my hand out. As you're uh, slowly backing up, and Loam is moving forward, trying to be non-threatening. One of the drow comes over here and kind of taps on this door, still watching you guys. When Loam, when you come up, what do you want to say to them? I say hello. I sense that we may share a common foe. <clears throat> uh, we might share a common foe. Then the door opens, and you see uh, another drow here. They're speaking to you in Elvish with uh, drow accents. And they say, have you come to fight against the mutants that are here? Yes, and we seek the source of their corruption. Um, I am the leader. One of the uh, drow from the other room comes forward. And says, um, my name is Nithalin of House Henlefell. I'm Easy the leader for of the you group. to say. We've come to try and convince our father, Antherix, to return home. Our father said he received a psychic call, and we worry he's joined this dangerous cult that we have run against. Could you help us in this cause to recover our father? 
yes, I think our goals may align um, if, uh, if it will bring us closer to the root of this cult that we are facing together. Okay. Um, we are concerned these things might put some sort of mutation on us, a risk we don't want to take if we can help it. We will offer you a magic item to recover our father. Tell, tell me how... I, I think your deal would be accepted, but tell me how we might f- trace your father to his uh, current location. Um, and do you suppose he'll go willingly with us back to you? It sounds like that will not happen. It may not. You might have to somehow um, somehow capture him, somehow restrain him, forcefully bring him back to us. There is a library full of books about this place behind us. Uh, we cannot read the books in here. One of them speaks of, I can read them. Um, uh, we want to force our way into the chambers beyond, but we know that the cultists there are too strong, especially with their weird pyramid-like pets. Um, we hope our father is just beyond that big statue. Um, they acknowledge he's not willing to come willingly, like you say, so they hope that you can subdue him and bring him back. They don't care what happens to any of the other cultists. They are certain if you can return him that they can convince him of the error of his ways. And I'm assuming Loam like translates all this to us. I'll, yeah. I'll just be like, how, how do they feel about him being, you know, mutated or and or beaten up by us pretty badly? As long as he's alive, we understand it might be difficult to subdue him if he has been mutated. Bring him back alive, and we will give you a periapt of health. And you can all make a wisdom insight check for me, please. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> so the door behind them probably leads to this library they speak of where you might find more information about the dwarves. They're willing to let you go and search around. Uh, the double doors in the hall that you came from just past the statue. Past those doors, they think you'll find their father. And with your highest insight check being a... Looks like 17. You believe they're telling you the truth. How will we recognize your father? They give you enough of a description. Um, they don't think there are any other drow cultists as well. So they give you a pretty good description of them, and plus you think he might be the only drow. So do you want um, to research anything? Ask them more questions? Go try to rescue the father? Have you learned anything of this cult in your no. quest to spare your father? Mm-hmm. They have not. They're afraid the cult has nothing to do with um, the dwarves who were here before them. And the one drow that says he can read the books nods enthusiastically that that is correct, and it was his research that discovered that. Are any of them wearing any, um, like, symbols of Lolf <laughs> or anything like that? No, you don't see any. Well, that's a good sign. But it seems like a pretty good deal to me. Okay, where do you guys want to go? Unless anyone says different, I think we should uh, take them up on their offer. Okay. Yes. Head to the double doors to the east. That's where you'll find them. Get you guys where you want to be standing when you open those doors. You're right. I think I will ride my dragon. Oh, sorry to interrupt. That would have been 21. All right. Special ranger power to ride the same size dragon as yourself. That's correct. Feel like you're like a kid at the um, front of the drugstore riding the the horse. (laughs) 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 But you're actually an adult, not a kid. (laughs) Well, yeah, he is pretty small, though. He's like 5'4". He's yeah. like a short king, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Any spells you guys want to cast before you proceed deeper in the dungeon? Uh, I could cast a Pass Without Trace on us. Uh, I'd be down to one third level spell slot. I don't know if that'll be helpful for you guys or not. Uh, you know, I haven't used many charges on my staff. I can do it. All right, cool. So pass Without Trace. Super sneaky. Okay. You open the door to a chamber with mutates in it. This chamber here, um, it has stone basins along the north and south walls with it looks like metal spigots coming out of the walls. The northwest spigot's broken and choked with fungus and it drips murky water into the basin. The other basins look like they're not functioning at all. Standing in a circle in the middle of the room are four hooded figures praying in low, indiscernible voices. One of them, you believe, is Anthorix, specifically the one to the northeast. Could you just mark him so that we know which one is him? Sure. Put a spider web on him. No reason. There you go. All right. Uh, so with your pass no without reason. trace, uh, they may or may not notice you standing there, even 
though the doors are open. Um, so I'm not taking any chances. I'm going to charge in. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Ashley, why don't you guys roll stealth checks? Sounds good. You want me you to roll one just for, the for, dragon two. for me yeah. or for the dragon two? You and okay. the dragon. You get plus 10 on the check. Looks like Titus got a 14. And that is the lowest. Okay. With a 14, you are able to surprise them. So you're going to get a surprise round. So the doors are open. You have a surprise round. First to act. Well, actually, roll initiative, please. I always roll low initiative. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Jeff, go ahead. Okay. Jeff, can I uh, sneak behind this statue here? Yeah, sure can. Okay. I'll, uh, I'm already... We're essentially hidden, right? Or is that not true? You... Um, yes, are essentially hidden. Okay. So I'll move to there and attack the southwest one. Okay. 15? 15 on the one to the southwest is a hit. All right. Throw a menacing attack on there for, so 13 damage. Okay. Wisdom save for menacing. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. We'll try that again. Same guy. And, and now you're not hitting anymore. They know you're there. So no advantage this one. It's a 22 uh, for nine. Nine. Menacing again. Yep. Okay. Another wisdom save. Looks low enough. It should work, but they might be immune to fright. No. After right. Jeff comes Caliban. All right. Uh, I will move to here. So one, two, three, four, five. Move to there. I will screech out and two-handed long sword. This one out to the southwest. Uh, it. Twenty for five. Oh, twenty. Is it still a surprise even though I ran in? No, because when Jeff started shooting, they looked okay. at you guys all. Fair enough. All right. Uh, twenty-three for five. I will hit him again. Uh, eighteen for twelve. And then I will unarm uh, 10. 10 is a miss. Or 5. And then I will move back here. Titus, your turn. I have 55 movement. He's going to throw in a few strikes on one of those. Six, Six cold right. points of cold damage. They take full cold. All right. Titus will move up a little bit and then will action use his wildfire spirit. And I click me when the summon. Oh, yeah. Everybody Nine fire, fifteen deck save. Two, three, um, well, one fail. You know, like like the bard meatloaf said, one out of four ain't bad. Nine on the top left one. All right, and then uh, we will bonus action. Uh, tell the spirit to get on top and teleport away, and then move back. So I will finish my turn by moving behind the statue, and then the guy takes his turn. He goes on top of uh, this guy here with uh, five or ten feet of fly. You tell me. Yep. Uh, to get adjacent to everybody. And then fiery teleports. Five, 15 deck save. One, two, three. Got three of them that time, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, for five damage. Spreading the love. So Spreading only the, love. the father of the drow failed. Or made it. Well, and then uh, teleports back there, and then we'll fly around the corner. End of turn. And now uh, the mutates all can take reactions now. And Ozzy, your turn. All right. Oh, I forgot. The dragon goes after me, right? It does, yes. <laughs> all right. Can I say that I didn't mount it because I can't move unless unless I'm off of it. Uh, right. Well, when you I mount it like that, that, you guys can act together. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah. Okay, well, cool. otherwise you can't really ride it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That makes sense. All right. Uh, cool. I will. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to ride up. I mean, you can. You just got to ready your actions for when it moves up, Jason. When with uh, extra attack, it only works on your turn, though, right? I know. So um, you can just write it as if it was a non, you know, not its own creature. You probably want to be separate from it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I will. Uh, I'll just. I'll just be on foot then, okay. with my shield and sword out. I will take a uh, slash at this closest one, this okay. damaged one. Ooh, uh, thirteen. Thirteen missed. All right. Uh, another slash. Ooh, oh. Oh no! That's a one. <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, my dragon can can make up for my failure here. Nom, that's a twenty-five for uh, what nine? Uh, piercing yeah, and one then, cold. So, so nine piercing and one cold. Yeah. Okay, and that thing will use defensive fly, take damage, fly speed without opportunity attacks. It flies back into the corner, get some cover there, and then Loam, your turn. Okay, Loam's gonna step forward a little bit and shoot an arrow into the one. Well, we'll shoot an arrow into the one that's badly hurt. Okay. There we go. 18 Hit. for 16. That finished him. 
and then we'll go to the one in the uh, north uh, west there. Okay. Miss. And done. Okay. And one there, Jeff, your turn. Uh, so Jeff will move up one, attack uh, the one in the southwest. Oh, nice. Ooh. And we'll throw a, do a rip attack on that one. Okay. So 12. 12. Don't do it another attack yet. Oh, no. Yet. Sorry. 11. Plus my other 7. Don't do anything else yet. Uh, let's see if it trips or not, because I'll back stuff. 16 strength save to gate. It fails it, does trip, goes prone, and go ahead. Okay, and then so sorry that I don't that damage was like I got it. Okay, nineteen or something. Okay, okay. Um, and then I guess I will uh, attack again at disadvantage. Still a twenty-two yeah. for seven. All right, and then bonus action hide. Okay, Califon, back here. All right, uh, I will move six and. I will hit this one that's prone. Uh, uh, 16 for 10. That's a hit. Uh, I will spend a key point. The death strike. Make that a... Click the button. Uh, I think you get to decide after you know if you miss, right? Because that's a hit. Did you add a button? So if you get to decide after you know you miss, so you don't have to spend it. Okay. Uh, yep. So I'll hit again. I'll wait, wait. Hit let's, cl let's click it and see what it does. Is that focus yeah, aim? Is that what you're using? Uh, yes. Okay. So you do not have to use what? it. Triggers when you miss. Okay. All right. So I'll hit him. Um, and then uh, I'll hit this last time with my talons when I'll miss horribly. Okay. 12 is also a miss. Yep. Okay. After Calvin then, Titus. Then move into this spot here. All right. Uh, Titus is going to uh, pop up, uh, get to there. Uh, we will see that this guy is prone and that's not going to help us. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. We'll just. Uh, we will frostbite. Ooh, he made a save. Yep. yep. Bonus action. We will tell the spirit to go in there and uh, fiery teleport some dudes as I move back. So we're able to fly right on top of this guy and then okay. we fiery teleport. I just wanted to avoid token on token action. One failed deck save on the leader for seven fire. He teleports into the back. End of turn. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Their defensive movement, I think, is on taking damage, not getting hit. Yeah, take damage. Okay, so... When they take the damage, the leader, from that thing, fire teleporting from him, he will move his speed, which is 30, without opportunity attacks. Six. To there. <clears throat> and then their turn, the one in the northeast, he yells at them to come to him. So this one in the northeast is going to go one, two to there. And then attack um, Loam. Multi-attack in unarmed strike. Ooh, Loam. Hit the Ouch. shit out of you. Um, 17 bludgeoning, 37 psychic. Wow. Ouch. And he'll unarmed strike you a second time. 16 to hit is a miss. Uh, not going to move any further so as not to broke. He's done. Then the next one's going to go. This one is going to be standing up, taking half his move. And then he's going to go after Ozzy with a multi attack and arm strike. That's a miss. Second arm strike. 19 hits Ozzy, I believe, for 8 bludgeoning yep. and 8 psychic. Oof. And then he'll move over to there. He's dead. And then the last mutate, the one that went up to Titus, he's going to go ahead and do a multi attack and arm strike on Titus. Over 20 for 9 bludgeoning and 12 psychic. The second attack is only a 14 to hit. And I think that's my AC without a shield. No, oh, no, I've got my protection cloak. It misses. I'm right, right? Uh, You are right. You're 15. Yeah, without your yep, shield, I'm you're 15. 15. Okay. Yes, that's my cloak. Uh, That Good mutate's going to go. Around behind Titus. So Titus, what he did as he's trying to attack you but failing was trying to like grab you around the neck and use you as a human shield. And he says to the rest of you to throw down your arms or I kill this one. Even though Titus he does not have you grappled or anything, so you're not held in place. Throw down your arms or I kill this one. He yells to all of you and Ozzy, your turn. <laughs> uh, I'll just yell over. Titus, are you all right? As I'm like stabbing this this injured guy in front of me. <laughs> I'm not, but do your thing. Oh my god, another one. Oh Jeez. no, that's a hit. All right, that'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, fifth, what is that? Um, it's 15. 17 damage? 15 damage? It's 15 damage. You could favor foe it see, okay. and add six more. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, no, I'm good for the, okay. for the 15, injured guy. 15 is enough to kill him. All right, fantastic. Uh, and then Jenny... 
will take a bite at this other guy that's in our way. All right. After Oz, he comes Loam. Okay, so Loam drops his bow, draws swords, and attacks. First attack looks like a 13 to 13 miss. 13 miss, yeah. Second attack. A hit. 21 for 16. 16, you got him under his marked? Um, oh, yeah. No, I don't. So 10 plus 1 psychic, and he's resistant to psychic. So he took 10 from that first one. Okay. That's a crit. Then an offhand so that's, attack. Yeah, that's a crit for 7 plus, um, well, no more psychic to the same guy. So 7 on that. Big 7. Take that crit. <laughs> okay. Uh, after Loam, round is over. Jeff. Uh, Jeff is uh, hit at the last at the end of the last round. He's yep. gonna go to there, attack the one by Titus. Okay. So twenty six, yep. and I won't add anything to that. So for ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, and, stop there. He'll oh. uh, fly back to there. Well, there. He'll fly back to there uh, with his uh, reaction. Mm, now you can keep moving in between your attacks. So feel free to move more if you want. Twenty. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to there and uh, attack. Okay. Uh, so, yep, yeah, 24 for 10. 10, got it. Okay, Keep after back. Jeff, Califon. Bonus action height. All right, uh, I'm going to 1, 2, 5. I will move there. I will strike with my long sword for 9, and I will miss. 20, Um, and then after I hit, I can... That's when I can call the stun. Yep. I think we'd established that last time. I'm going to try to throw a stun on that. He resisted. All right. Um, and then I will... All right. And then I'll do one more. If I understand this, I spend a key point so I can do another long sword, or do I have to tell I understand? You have to spend thing? another key point, not just the key point for some other power. You got key okay. field attack, bonus action. As part of an action on your turn, make an attack with a monk, unarmed weapon. So yeah, you use your bonus to do one more attack with your long sword if you spend one, one key. Okay. Or you can yeah, freely, we'll without spending any key, do an unarmed attack. Yeah, that's how I'm going to do an unarmed. I'm going to tell him in the shins for 13. 13, okay. Um, right. And nice. I will spend the rest of my movement. After Kalfon and Titus. All right. Uh, Loam looks pretty bad, but we're going to go ahead. Uh, we'll get you up. if uh, That's what we do in this party. So uh, we will go up. Titus is going to try to take a bite out of this mutate. Uh 18 yeah. for 15 points of acid damage. damage. They took full acid. Take a uh, bite out of crime. He's going to use his um, fence of flight to back into the corner here. All right. Well, uh, then we will use our bonus action. And uh, who wants to get next to that guy? All right. Well, then Titus not hearing anything. Titus will uh, just uh, <laughs> shoot that just guy. Me. Just me. Huh. All right. So let's I move there. I didn't think I would be moving. Titus will just clear the path, and then we will fire. C All right. 15? 15 is a miss. All right. Well, that guy will go to the corner. End of turn. After Titus, the mutates turns. Okay, the one in the corner there. Uh, he's going to do a wisdom check. Oh, and stay in fight. So he will just charge up on Ozzy. Actually, no, he'll fight from back there. Uh, Multi-attack with nightmare blasts first on Ozzy. That's a 19 Ozzy. Uh, for it's... 10, 10 psychic, and you're frightened. Okay. Unless you make a 12 wisdom save. Success. Then he'll try another nightmare blast on Yazi. Uh, missing that time. Then we have the mutate over in the corner there, who sees that no one cares they tried to kill Titus, so he's going to try and kill Califon. multi attack on Califon, an arm strike number one, yep. is a 21 Califon for 9 bludgeoning and 14 psychic. Yep, boom. Hit me. Number two, it's only a 10. They are done. Your turn, Ozzy. All right. Uh, I'm going to tell Loam. I'm just going to say, Loam, go and get the drow. Tell them that their dad's right outside the door. <laughs> and I'm going to charge over and finish this guy off. Uh, 16, 16 hit. hit. Yep. Okay, for 10. 10, damage. still standing. All right. One more swing. All right. Yeah, we, I, we, got, we got him that time, I think. I will uh, order um, Jenny to go and pin the uh pin pin the drow the, the drow with many wings down She'll, hang on actually i don't know if i can get to her one second 5 10 15 20 25 30, 30. I, th I think i can get to here and she'll just make a grapple check okay oh nice he's grapple very check. grappled <laughs> yeah you got him grappled okay after ozzy loam 
He is not backing down. He's struggling and fighting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Double move. <laughs> Open the door. Okay. They, uh, we, uh, we have captured your, uh, your father. Come and get him. <laughs> <laughs> and done. He, like, lets up when he hears that. And you guys are victorious. He will let you drag him back to his uh, children who bind him in silk ropes and such and provide to you a periapt of health, as promised. Sweet. They basically all gather him together and bid you farewell and good luck. They want no more of this place and they drag their father out. Fair enough. They take their bedrolls with them. They um, otherwise didn't look like they had much in belongings anywhere. The room to the west, you never really saw too much because they were standing in the doorway, so you can kind of get a peek at it now. And picture that down here. This is what it looked like when they were in it. Um, Ooh, books. This room uh, has a wide bed surrounded by tall bookshelves. There's scattered papers all about. The, Of course, you have the perioptive health. Um, you find the papers or maps that they've just discarded here of this place. Looks like they might have taken the maps and such out of various books and laid them out over the bed. Um, you also find from those maps that there's a secret door. The secret door is right between the pantry and the uh, room you're in. So there's a little secret door there to get out that direction. And so the maps they have. I, I see a chest in there. Is there anything in it? <laughs> Nothing of value, no. Just All right. clothing and uh, bed sheets. But the maps they have... Um, there is T1 through T2. I'm in pretty bad shape. I'm going to drink my healing mission. <laughs> oh, uh, before you do that, uh, Titus might. Oh, do you have like a big mass heal? Serve it up, oh. Titus. No, but I, I I think that we're probably running low on hit dice, right? Run on what, sir? You cut out there. I think, I, I assume that you, like myself, are running low on hit dice. Yeah, I'm at one. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, Titus will, uh, if we think we're in a safish spot, uh, Titus will start up an aura of healing. Yeah, you definitely are in a safish spot. So feel free uh, to do an aura. We will go ahead and give Loam the first one up. Oh, this one, I guess that no aura of life. That's the wrong one. I said aura of vitality. That's what I want. Aura of vitality. I was like, it didn't roll dice. So there you go. Uh, first Loam gets ten. And then, Thank you. Uh, look at the dice. Uh, so then. See, Loam gets 10. Next uh, next one goes to Loam as well. Uh, you get 5. Next one goes to Califon. You get 5. Thank you. Next one goes to Ozzy. You get 12. Look at those box Whoa. cars. Man. Look at those box cars. All right. Uh, the next one's going to Loam. And then we're halfway done. Uh, Loam gets 7. And then next one goes to Califon. Gets 7. Got four more, so the next one goes to me. Let's be honest, this is called the Uh, then the next one goes to Loam. I've got, did I say four more? No, I've got three more. Next one goes to Loam for seven. Next one goes to Califon for eight. Nice. And the last one goes to Ozzy four. Ooh. All right, not too bad. It's better than a poke in the eye. So the, uh, I think I'm still going to drink my healing potion. <laughs> so looking through the maps, you see the room south of you. You haven't been there yet, but you see the extent of it. You also see the extent of the entry hall and how it ends on the dead end and the two doors to the east. But none of their maps show, and I was wrong, the maps aren't from the books. The maps are from their personal mappings. And um, the two doors to the east that you see on the entry hall, they don't have maps. So they must have never gone that way. So that's what you know. Ah, so we don't have a map of... Anywhere further in the dungeon, is what Correct. you're saying. Correct. All right. Well, gentlemen, we have two choices. We can continue uh, past the statue, or we can head back north and explore those two doors that we uh, passed by. And you also haven't been south yet, into that room that I drew, but you haven't been in there yet. Oh, true. Yeah, I mean, we should probably check that out. <laughs> okay. In there, you see a library. Shelves cover the stone walls of the room from floor to ceiling. Sagging books that have been reduced to little more than scraps and dust the shelves, although a few books bound in metal have survived the long years of abandonment. Let's crack them open and see what we can learn. All right. 
One of the books uh, looks like the drow haven't got to is has a cover made of uh, thin plates of granite. So obviously a good dwarven book. And that is in the basically the middle of the south uh, shelves. So go ahead and put your character by the middle of the south shelves. Everyone else put you guys where you want to be when you are there. I'll assume the door to the room is open, the door to that room is open. Is that always open? Once you're happy where you're standing, roll initiative. Um, so you go to open this granite covered book and it's got looks like metal pages on the inside but when you go to crack it open two earth elementals rise from the floor and attempt to smash you so stone and dirt fly every direction these two things erupt out of the ground and close on ozzy and the first person to act before they get to ozzy is jeff I see you lighten up i don't hear you jeff can you hear me now yep okay so what you doing, Jeff? Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get a hang of what's going on here. Um, okay. Uh, bonus action hiding. Oh, I guess I have to move here. Ooh, that's not good. Furthermore, they have tremor sense, so the wall doesn't even block your line of sight to them. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to attack the one south of me through okay. Titus, and I hit. I will. Let's try to throw a menacing attack on there. See if they're immune. 17 and wisdom saving throw or be menaced it is menaced excellent then we'll attack again 23 for 12 all right back up Calavon, your turn all right i will uh dang it i will explain to everybody as a free action this is why we don't read um <laughs> nothing good comes out of it uh, and i will uh i will strike the uh one to my right with my long sword magical uh, wow. 20 or a 20. 27 for a massive, a massive 10 points of damage. Got it. Um, I don't know if you can stun an earth elemental, but I'm going to try today. Okay, here's his wisdom or his con save. You do not succeed today. I still don't know, right? No. So I'll pretend like I don't know. Um, and then I will strike him again. Um, it again. Even better than your crit. Through. Yeah, so for 14 points of damage, um, and then uh, I will just, uh, I will talon him. I, would I know if they have a reach, a 10-foot reach? Uh, they do not. Oh, no, they do. Okay. They have a 10-foot reach. Okay, well, I'll tell him anyways, and I will pretend I don't know. Another crit. I will another crit for an amazing 12 points of damage, and I will move five feet because I'm a stupid bird. Okay, the earth elemental is going to go. It's going to try and smash Loam, multi attack with the slam. Loam, that's a 12 missing you. The second one is a 10 missing you. You die by ah. the way of both of those crushing fist attacks. And then Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to look at this guy. And Titus knows some primordials. That would I know if acid's going to work on this type of elemental? You think it would? All right. Well, then uh, we'll go ahead and take a bite out of crap or not. 13 does not connect. All right, and then uh, Titus looks over at, is it Betty? Is that the uh, dragon's name? Jenny, sorry, she's Jenny. Jenny, Jenny, all right. So Jenny, uh, well, get ready to move. And uh, uh, Titus is going to bonus action command the spirit to come in and go right on top of Titus, and then we are going to teleport away, and uh, Jenny gets to move. Wow, that is the dexiest earth elemental ever. <laughs> yep, and Jenny needs to leave that square. If you are one square south, Jenny's safe. Uh, or if, make a deck if, I go, stay. if I go up here, is she safe as well? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, she'll, she'll guard everyone. All right, after Titus comes, the scared Earth Elemental. Can't get any closer to Jeff, so it's going to come down to here, and it's going to try and smash Ozzy. Missing. And 20 Ozzy for 13 bludgeoning. Ooh! The first one misses you and crashes down on the shelves, knocking the shelves down, and then mutate is not in the fight anymore. And then Ozzy, your turn. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of have one trick. Let's. Uh, I just want to check if I have any spells I want to use. No, not really. Okay, we're just gonna sword. Uh, Twenty-one for fifteen. It. And again. And Ozzy, your sword uh, is 18. magical. Okay, that's a hit as well. Yes, nine yeah, more? it's a magic reaper. Yeah, nine more. Uh, you know, I am going to use my. Um, my what's it called thing on these attacks favorite foe okay you have to decide that before you make your uh, 
Before I make my attack, is that right? I'm wondering if you decide on your second attack, if that works. Because it says your first hit on your turn. Uh, but we'll say, yeah, you can turn the favor foe on, and the first hit on your turn on him, you'll do three extra more. Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, and then Jenny, yeah, I guess, I mean, she's... Uh, oh, her reaction is, like, resets when she takes her turn, right? I forgot to use her Start uh, of her thing, turn, so I'll, use it, on my, I'll she... use it on my sword, and okay. then she'll get it back. I have essence. Five damage for that, and then she takes a chomp on the Earth Elemental's butt. Uh, 19 for uh, 8. 19 hit. Um, Non-magical, I believe. two piercing and three golds or five. Okay, cool. All right. Ozzy is done. Loam, your turn. Okay, Loam, who never learns his lesson about how the futility of taking damage after Hunter's Mark, will cast Hunter's Mark on the one on the right. Okay. And then start swinging. Take that. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's 11. It'll take all the psychic, I think. Yeah. So it's 11, it's 16, it's 22, it's 26 points 26. of damage. And follow up with my second attack. And that is a 15. 15 missed. Okay. After the loan, Done. round is over. Jeff, your turn. Can't hear you if you're talking, Jeff. If you can hear us, Jeff, you can just roll the dice. I think I know what you're probably be doing. Involved. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yep, sure can. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened there, but uh, Jeff's token disappeared. Oops. Yeah, so it see is. It. is it behind anyone? Let's see. No, it's not. I didn't. Hmm. I don't I don't know what happened there? You got swallowed by Earth. Oh wait, element. we tried just do an undo. I said I moved people since that happened. Uh, okay. You just drag him back off of the journal. I can do it. There he is. Um, you have to recall if his hit points were full or not. I don't recall. And you're quiet again if you do anything. Okay, there's a shot. That's a hit for twelve points of magic piercing. I assume on the elemental. Next shot. That is a miss. Thirteen. So finish your move where you want. We can't hear you if you're talking. And after you comes Califon. Um, I will waylay on the one that's right next to me with the longsword two-handed. <laughs> wow, oh, 14. Let me get a lottery ticket. You're critting all day long. Uh, and I will, because of this luck, I will again try to see if you can stun a piece of rock. Two more damage. Minus two. Stunning on check. Not stunned. Nope. I will be relaying this to my friends that you cannot do this. Uh, and then I will strike again with the long sword, uh, two handed. Um, oh, if I would have stunned him, I would have got that 20. A uh, 16 for 14. 16 missed. Okay. Uh, and I will kick it in the face with my talent. All right. Super flex. It's almost turn. 21 for 8. Oh, testing, uh, that's testing. It. Here you now, Jeff. Oh, okay. That's weird. Mel trying to bash the loam into the concrete two attacks with a slam. 25 loam for 17 bludgeoning. 22 loam for 21 bludgeoning. Loam is taking a beating over there. Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to step under the spirit. Will produce a flame at this guy. I hit. 21 for uh, near maximum damage of 23. 23. Almost finished him. All right. And then we will take a step back and we will see if the fire see the job. For no cover since he's bigger than the thing in front of him. Uh, failing. Missed. And moves back to their end of turn. Okay. There's the amount that just barely survived. Going to try and finish off Ozzy. Multi attack and slam one. It's miss slam two. 18, Ozzy. I think that's oh, exactly your armor class. 17, 17 bludgeoning. Isn't, it, isn't your AC 19 with a shield? It's 18. Oh. Then, Ozzy, your turn. All right. Uh, Ozzy will take a swing to try and finish this thing off. Oh, I can't use inspiration after I after, right? No. Yeah, uh, let's use inspiration on this, on this okay. attack. It. I'm glad I did. <laughs> and dropped them. Rocks crumble into the ground. Uh, and then I will have Jenny uh, charge over and uh, chomp Earth Elemental. Uh, 12. 12 hit. miss. Is, okay. Loam, your turn. Loam disengages and switches to his bow. After Loam. Oh, fire away. Sorry. Well, oh, uh, disengage. I'm disengaging. Right. So. Okay, after Loam is Jeff. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. Loud and clear. Okay. Uh, bonus action hide. I don't, don't know how that went. And then uh, move to there. Attack that earth elemental. Hit. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. And we'll attack again. Hit again. And that's 
Uh, yeah, let's menace attack him. 21 for 12. And his wisdom save. He's menaced. Then Calif on your turn. All right, I'm going to move up. Uh, 23 for 13. That's a good hit. Doing your monk training where you just punch rock. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, or just bang my beak against the wall. Um, that is a 15. Team I'm going to do one. Yep. And then my next, my talon, I will. That's a hit. 21 for four. Okay. Then after Caliphon, Earth Elemel's turn. Ooh, only Jenny to beat on now. 18 for Ooh. 16 to Jenny. And only a 10. Then Titus, your turn. Titus comes out to there and will produce a flame at this guy. Yep. Nin 19 for 10. Still up. And we will come in and do a flame seed. Who hit? 20 for 5. End of turn. Ozzy, your turn. All right, let's finish him off. Oh, I should remove my thing. All right, Rapier. Oh, no. I'm taking all the bad luck for all your 20s. Uh, 18 for 8. Hit and finished it. The two Earth Elemels oh. crumble into the ground, leaving you alone in the library with this granite-covered metal-paged book. And it seems it was worth it. This is the Granite Ledger, a compendium of Talhundareth's secrets. Um, the ledger lists those buried in the crypt of Talhund. It also provides instructions in Dwarvish for how to open the crypt's entrance. It doesn't specifically say where the entrance is, but when you find it, you'll be able to open it. Um, some sort of complex puzzle lock is involved, having to do with a giant wall carving. So when you find a giant wall carving in a puzzle lock, you have the book to get past it. Those buried in the crypt of Talhoun, it mentions individuals such as... Let's see here. There are 14 priests, warrior priests. There is the historian founder and the architect so 14 warrior priests and the historian and the founder and the architect you expect to find down there in Talhoun's script um and if you can find this giant mural with the puzzle lock you'll be able to get down there to it so it was maybe worth it to fight those two elementals and that's all about you find in the library no other uh secret books or anything I'll, nope. I'll try and pull some off of shelves to find a secret passage <laughs> no secret books no secret passages all right uh well i'm not feeling very well but everyone else all right well gather on up if this place we think we got a minute you should be okay here yeah go for it all right here we go was it 15 priests the founder and a librarian is that what it was uh 14 warrior priests the founder the librarian um, I'm sorry, the historian, uh, All right, the Loam. architect. Loam gets 11. Thank you. And here come out the dice again. Uh, we'll go for the next one on Loam. Loam gets another six. Are you updating so I can... 27 now. There you go. All right. Uh, Ozzy gets the next one. Ozzy gets four. Uh, Loam gets the next one. Uh, another four. All right. Uh... Ozzy gets the next one with five. Gosh, this one's not great. Ice or cold. Loam gets the next one at eight. Ozzy, did you get those five? Oh, yeah, I, it didn't update for some reason. Gotcha. No, I'm just making sure because I, I decide who gets them based on gotcha. that. Uh, I'm not going to heal the uh, dragon because we have other ways of bringing them back. Nope. She's, if she dies, she's dead. <laughs> if she goes to zero, she's gone. I can't summon her again today. Okay. You can't use a spell slot? Uh, oh, can I? Yeah, yeah can. never mind. I can. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm like, uh, let me let me heal people that uh, need need the hit points. Okay. Ozzy, I think, is the next one. And I am, I am six down. So three left after this seven. Uh, Ozzy, you're going to get the next one. Uh, two left. There you go. There's some nice. ten. Uh, and then Loam, you get the second to last one for four. And Loam, you get the last one for five. That one was not great. So it hit the spot. All right. Well, Better than nothing. Going. I can do one more of those, and then I'm like very low on spell slots. But I say we get into the next tiff first. Where to? Where do you guys want to head? Um, I think we only have one door left, right? We, we also have the ones to the north. 
Oh, also, was, the other yeah. thing I didn't tell you about your map is that it showed that the passageway in the far north there that you uh, saw when you entered the place, that, that goes down to Gibbet Crossing if you follow it for a long, long ways. So you know oh. how to get to Gibbet Crossing now, too. So somewhere in this place, you should find an obelisk. Somewhere below this place, you should find an obelisk. And somewhere in Gibbet Crossing, you should find an obelisk or a chunk thereof. So three doors to choose from here. Which one will it be? I see the double doors. Nothing's wrong with me. Uh, who's leading? <laughs> Ozzy. I will, yes. Okay, of Ozzy. <laughs> Move your guy to the door you're opening. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to, I've got a couple spell slots. I'm, I'm going to heal myself up a little bit and heal Jenny. Yeah, we'll use two first levels for uh, healing. One sec. Me, Jenny. All right, same for both. Okay, now show us the door you're opening. Okay. Open here. Through that door, you find a hall with uh, a picture here I put above that kind of shows what the hall looks like. There are columns within the pillared procession hall bearing images of pious dwarves holding mining picks. Nothing in here besides that. Hmm, interesting. Where to now, Ozzy? Well, I suppose we should uh, explore these other doors. Agreed. South or west? Let's do west. West, okay. Hmm. You think you have found the... Uh, Crypt entrance. The west end of this room bears an elaborate carving of a mountain filled with gemstones. On the wall is a dial covered in simpler carvings. The dial's center. Let's see. Um, let's see. The west end of the room bears an elaborate carving of a mountain filled with gemstones. Each gemstone is in various stages of completion, and stylized mine tracks connect each to a large dial in the west wall. The dial center has a faceted indentation like a socket for a gem. A stylized mine card is carved at the top of the dial. Above the dial is a phrase, only a complete gift opens the crypt beyond. So from your reading of the Granite Ledger, you know you need a multifaceted gem of the size of the dial, and you know the combination. Basically, you're matching up the gemstones on the dial as if it's a combination lock from least to most finished. Um, the problem is you don't have the gem. Hmm. There, You'll have to uh, If you, you look back in the, in the ledger, and it says the gem is kept in the, quote, vault. You don't know that you've seen anything that's a vault yet. Vault sounds like a lot of treasure. Oh, one thing I wanted to do, uh, Tom, I just wanted to check this thing here. Murky water, oh, maybe yeah. there's something in it. Yeah, you search that room. Okay, searching that room, you don't find anything of uh, value. The murky water you think is safe to imbibe. Um, you see some um, mutations in the plant life, though, so... While you think you could survive drinking it, you don't know if it has some sort of longer-term magical effect. I might have been contributing to the mutations of the people here. So you Fallout would, toilet water. It. Definitely not drinking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we should check either this door or we can go to the north. Perhaps they kept the vault separate. Which would you like? Group vote. Anyone have any opinions? North. Uh, Let's go north. Okay, but you guys, let's see, you'd be coming out this door way up Off here, coming down these stairs, or no, you could either go across the hall to that door, or go down the stairs to the door. Go and put your guy by the door you're opening. He said north, we'll go to the most north. Okay. But you guys Wait all for the rest there. of the party before I open the door. <laughs> yeah. They Catch up with you. And there's the chamber that you open. Ooh, Inside this place, you see... Let's see. Do I see a shield? <laughs> <laughs> I can give back your shield, Titus. You see old weapon and armor racks here. You see gouges in the walls. Um, no shields, unfortunately. And none of the armor looks of use, nor any of the weapons. There's two doors out of the place. All right. Uh, east. Sound good? Okay. Uh, go ahead and put you guys where you want to be as you start walking across the room as Ozzy gets to here. Everyone else take up what position you want to be in, and okay. then roll initiative. I think we lost a Califon for a moment. Um, you notice all of a sudden light flare amongst the suits of armor there on the northeast corner of the room as you're coming towards the door, and then you hear a voice disembodied but coming from a proximate position of the eastern armor there that says in Dwarvish, and does, do any of you speak Dwarvish? I do. Okay, it says in Dwarvish, um, squad tactics routine. And then they attack. Initiative, I did already. And the first person to react to their attack is Jeff. Three suits of armor, unmanned. One of them spoken dwarvish to 
attack, basically. You squad squad uh, tactics routine, and they're coming after Ozzy and maybe the rest of you. Uh, I think there's something weird going off the initiative, because I rolled a 12. Oh, okay. I, what I, I, I got rid of the old one there. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's probably because um, that other character we thought was gone is still here somewhere. I just don't know where. Hmm. So anyway, uh, the first person attack now is actually the Dwarven Armor, which closes on Ozzy. multi attacks with its long sword. Actually, it's a battle axe for Dwarven Armor. 16's a miss with your new found shield. 24's a hit for 9 slashing, Ozzy. Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to use his action to pop up a... I'm going to use the spirit that you made me. Okay. I can find it. Elemental spirit. Um, you go to the journal. Go to spells. Never mind. I got this one. Okay. Because that's what it is. It's a flaming sphere. But the elemental spirit under the spells, I think, has macro buttons for you. Oh, no, I'm not. I, I don't have the spell slots. It's gone. Oh, uh, you're I'm doing, doing a flaming flame, sphere. I'm doing a flaming sphere. Oh, okay, I was just gotcha. trying to find something to, to annotate it. In gotcha. There. So, all right. It appears, and that means I cast it. We will attack the bottom one. Bottom one. Okay. Uh, so I ram it into it, and it gets to make a dex save, uh, dex save which mm -hmm. everything makes dex saves. Makes so. it for half. Oh, that's it right. Yes. So you take uh, six or three. That's three yes. for fire. Got it. And then bonus action, we will have the uh, uh, flame seed will travel up and do a little fiery teleport from there. And fiery teleportation to get all three of them. That's one, two. To those guys, uh, both fail, both take eight fire, and the guy see, fails it, takes eight fire. Then, Jeff, your turn. I'm going to try to attack that uh, armor that's attacking Ozzy. 17 for eight? 17 missed. That again. How about 25 for seven? 25 hit. And you know what? I'll action surge, do that. Ah, boo. 14 is a miss. Yes. Ooh, there you go. There we go. Uh, yeah, so whatever. 31 for 14. 14. Got it. And then bonus action hide. Ozzy, your turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll just shout out, uh, this one in front of me is giving orders. And I'll try and bring him down. Uh, wow, 20, what, 26 to hit, hit for 12? 12, okay. And uh, uh, 23 to hit for 8. Got it. Caliban. I'll throw I'll oh. throw some infused on that. Okay. Too cold. Two. Okay. Uh Califon, your turn. Right. Uh, move oh, over sorry. here. Uh Drake. Drake bite. Oh she yeah. go, right. go for an arm. Oh, a miss. <laughs> okay, Califon. Right. Oh, two handed long sword. Uh, miss. <laughs> Eleven for nine. And uh, it. Uh, oh, what's that? I mean, the... Chris have you had today? Holy cow. That's my third. So twenty two. Uh, uh, that 20. finishes it. Yeah. What's up with this sphere? Can I get within close? Don't end your turn adjacent and you won't take fire damage. All right. I'll move up. Uh, I will move here and I will talon that one or I'll miss it and I'll move back here. All right. After you comes the first suit of armor. It will move. Boom. Boom. To there. Attack Ozzy. Multi attack and slam. 20 Ozzy for nine and <laughs> miss. And then it ends adjacent to the fire. How much damage is that, Titus? Uh, Five or two. So you get a save if you save. stay. Yep. You get a save if you Even stay. Even if you okay. Uh deck save. Took five. Okay. Then the other one. Boom. Over there, attack Ozzy, multi-attack and slam and slam. Both miss. Loam, your turn. Okay. Loam will uh shoot some arrows at these, but first we'll do a hunter's mark on the one closest to me. And fire away. One. That is a is miss. fifteen. That's and a this one's at twenty-four. 18 22. piercing, and then psychic they take no damage from. Okay. Okay. After Loam comes another... Oh, I did the armor's out order. Anyway, he just did what he did. Bounds over, and Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, we are going to target this guy with a produce flank. Uh, 24 Three. for 10. 10. 10. 10. I finished it. All right, and then we will use a bonus to just ram the uh, flaming sphere into the other guy. Got him. Six. For a, for no, just just the one. Just oh no, well, this is higher level. Whatever. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm okay. I'm done. All right. After Titus, Jeff. Oh wait, your fire spirit. Nope. Fire spirit dodges. 
Oh, that's right. You do I don't have the actions. bonus action. That's right. Okay. Uh, Jeff. Moving up and attacking, uh, I guess the only one left. Oh, nice. Wish I could add something to that, but I can't. 31 for 11. 11, still Actually, there. Actually, you know what? I can add something. I can add a Fury of the Small for an extra three. 14. Finished it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you're in this chamber here with all this, you know, used up weaponry. None of it of any value. Even the armor that came alive is not of any value. Two doors out. One east, one south. All right. Uh, let's go east. Let's go east. Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay. To the east, you find a small quarters. There's a stone desk there, a stone bed, metal display holding a single battered great axe. Uh, examining this great axe, it's a normal great axe, but there is a magical item within the shaft of the axe. Uh, the button to control the item is within easy reach of anyone using the great axe as a weapon. It's an immovable rod. Ooh, fun. Yeah, so you had an immovable rod. You can separate it from the great axe or keep it with it, your choice, but we'll assume you take the great axe with it for now. Uh, nothing else of uh, note in the room. Beauty. All right. South door. South door it is. All right. Everyone, put you guys where you want to be when you open that south door. Then roll initiative when you're happy where you're at. Sorry. It appeared when I clicked on my... Oh, door. no. <laughs> it's a lot of enemies. Okay. In this chamber, you see a few broken shields. Sorry. A warped crossbow. Some warped bolts on the ground. A battered shelf and... Some hooks. Um, you see some creatures, Ozzy, with your uh, passive perception of 15 that are trying to hide from you, but not doing a very successful job of it. Uh, they look like um, little um, methods, little dust methods. In addition to them, there is a single undead warrior. Dwarven warrior, but definitely undead. He's the one least well hidden among them all. And uh, they are like... When you make eye contact with them, they emerge to attack. You already rolled your initiatives. I'm roll theirs. That is some great scary art. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. I think it's from Game of Thrones. Is right. he uh, like a zombie or a ghost? Like a white. Oh, no. And first person to go amidst the one, two, three, four, five, six who rolled 20 or higher is Jeff. All right. Oh, wait. Will... Before you go, Jeff, oh. before we start, it's break time. Uh, so okay. It's, 32 after, so let's come back at 45 after. Break till X45. Uh, looks like Jeff's first up. So you have these little, uh, you know, two foot, three foot tall humanoids all shrouded in dust with little wings and the dwarven undead. And you did say that they were moving to attack, right? They are attacking. They are. So uh, we'll move up to here and I'll attack the northernmost method. Ooh, yeah, maybe. 18 for 9. 18's it? 9 All right. damage. We'll try that again. 16 for 9. Also a hit, and that finished him. He Excellent. explodes in a cloud of dust, lining and everyone then... around him for uh, one minute. Oh, cool. Move back and hide. All right. After Jeff comes, Califon. All right. Move in. Um, you know, inspirational uh, and strike with my longbow. Um, I guess I'll take the one, the northern one as well. Uh, well, now the northern one. Uh, 14 for 7, uh, 22 for 12. Finish him off. Uh, and then I will move back to my previous location. I did, uh, on the break, I did look it up. All I have to do is spend the key point as part of my action. And then as part of my bonus, um, I can use the arm armor attack or the weapon. All right. Um, Titus, you're trying fueled it. All right, uh, Titus will come into there, and I think I've got line of sight on that guy, right? I think so. Just barely. We'll go ahead and do a oh frostbite. That's what it's called. Resisted. Yep. He doesn't care about that. And then we will go ahead and uh, send in the spirit, uh, tell it to go shoot the flame seed and come back out. So we will shoot that same guy again with a flame seed. Just barely in range. 18 for 6. That's a hit. It takes all the fire. And he comes back around and gets out of the way. End of turn. Your turn, Lum. Um, darts into the room, drops the hunter's mark on the uh, spooky guy, fires a couple of arrows. That is a uh, 24 for, well, 10, 14. 
but I assume it's insubstantial, so... It is not insubstantial, nine. so that all hurts it. It takes all 14, and then it takes all, looks like, 18 more? Oh, no, that's looks a miss. Like, yeah. Looks like a miss. Okay. And then I'm backing up. All right, Neffet's turn. They all have to dash to get there, and then Ozzy, your turn. All right. Uh, I am going to use my Necrotic Shroud, so a big dragon head just sort of forms around my head and it's all ethereal and strange looking and it makes people scared uh so they all have to make a wisdom saving throw or else they are frightened of me looks like only one's not frightened yep uh so then i will i don't want to attack them because they'll make me blinded but you know what uh that's metagaming i'm going to hit the one in front of me uh, yeah, that's 22 for 9 damage. Uh, oh, it adds my level as well. So 7 more as necrotic. I don't know if that works on them. I think it's your proficiency bonus, not level. Uh, I might have changed with the, um, Morden Cannons version of it. Uh, let me see. Cannons usually write, Volo kind of makes stuff up. Let's see. The source that I have says... Extra necrotic damage once on each of your turns equal to your level. Is that Morning yeah, Cadence? That's, that's the Volo's Guide version. Yeah. Morning Cadence is, superseded okay. it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, one second. Necrotic Shroud. One target. Oh, yeah, you're correct. Sorry. Sorry. So an extra three damage. All right. Um, uh, second attack, I suppose. Uh, I'll go on the undamaged one next to me. Uh, 12 for, or sorry, 20 for 14. Okay. All done. And Jenny will bite. I don't think at... Jenny can, because you used your bonus to do your shroud, right? Oh, you're correct. Sorry, you're right. Okay, the white will come forward, gets to there, and is done. The round is over. And Jeff, your turn. Okay. Uh, when those, when I saw the thing explode, how big of a radius did it have? About five-ish feet. Five-ish. Maybe ten. Oh, All right, move to here and i'll attack one of the ones in the uh attack the one not directly south but behind it okay 19 for 10 got it and mm, me that's yeah, a miss 14 for 9 hit. 14 actually oh, hit for 9 well. that thing does a death burst in a 5 foot radius doesn't seem excellent so. and then after jeff is califon all right. All right, bonus will, action hide. I'll hold on to my bow. Um and I'll fire the one all the way to the south. Uh fifteen for seven and twenty-five for fifteen. I will back one more up to give people room to maneuver. Your turn, Titus. All right. Uh we will uh produce a flame at the white. Uh that's a strong fifteen. Just missed. And then uh, we will back up and tell the spirit to get in there. And I hope people are going to be okay with teleporting away. Sounds good to me. So I'm not going to put the spirit on top of this one, but that's where he goes. Gotcha. So it should be the Drake and uh, Ozzy that get to teleport as we fiery teleport away. Both of the Memphis are hit. Turns out they're both vulnerable fire. Their dust seems to even explode in more fiery frenzy. Um, so they're both gone. The one close to Loam does explode, and Loam, you'll have to make a 10 con saved and not be blinded. No problem for Yay. Loam. <laughs> and uh -huh. Loam, your turn. Okay, well, Loam is going to back off just a smidge so we can get a line of sight on our spooky friend and fire a couple of arrows. 25 for 12 and a crit nice. for bunches. For all of them. That finishes them. Nice, slow. In that room, there's just a broken, um, few broken pieces of armament and a single door. The door is locked, um, and it's all full of dust as well. The lock is itself. So any chance to pick it would be a disadvantage. I'm going to healing hands myself, and then I will attempt to pick the lock. One sec. Uh... Titus will come yep. up and give you a guidance. Oh, beautiful. Uh, and before, uh, yeah. should we try to clean it up? Uh, maybe I can have the fire spirit ignite the dust. Uh, good idea. Uh, Titus, that will burn up the dust pretty easy, and then there'll be no more disadvantage. 
Mm. Oh, nice. There All right, go. sweet. Take, a, take um, a guidance as well. All right, beautiful. So I'll roll and then I'll uh, put a D4 on that. Big four. Nice. All right, so that's, uh, oh, geez, what? 23? 23. All right, yeah, you're able to lock, unlock it. No problem. Very good. Nice. Oh, oh. And an armor shield in there. A you proper armory. <laughs> Oh, they've got weapons lying everywhere. I know. It's actually a pretty complicated lock. I I forgot to tell you that. But that uh, with that check, you're able to undo it, no problem. It had multiple layers. It was caked with dust, but you're able to burn away the dust. And See, fire in, solves all problems. Inside the room, you see glittering heaps of coins, statuettes, and weapons covered in a thin layer of dust. There's 510 platinum, 1,250 gold, 12 small gems of various kinds worth 100 each. A platinum holy symbol of Dumathoin, a dwarven god of secrets, worth 150 gold. Three golden statuettes of dwarf warriors worth 400 gold each. A potion of invulnerability. Eyes of minute seeing. Now that is a proper vault. Is yes. there a uh, a multifaceted gem in here? Uh, yes. In fact, you think any any one of the 12 small gemstones that you found here would work in the lock. You also know that there's been a cave-in filling a lot of the chamber, um, and there's a narrow passageway that you could squeeze through to get to another chamber to the west. So, Jeff? I am going to uh, sneakily it. make my way through there. Oh. All okay. right, Jeff. On the other side, you see uh, small quarters Ooh. with a single bed in it. Most of the room has collapsed long ago, forming a narrow passage. And the stone bed is draped with furs, and it's the only furnishing there. Anything under the bed? No, nothing in the bed. All right. There's another passage here and uh, a door. Shall we go through? Uh, I think we're all small enough. I don't think any of us is or, or large. But I will say, if we the way you described the room, it's kind of small. So if we open that door, if anything happens, we'll be on top of each other. No, why don't we circle right. around to the other side and... Um... Have a go at it from there. Yeah. Seems reasonable. Let's uh, <laughs> let's stuff our backpacks with loot, and then we'll go. <laughs> All right. Uh, go check out the other door. All right. You can move around to the other door. And as you're coming down the stairs right here, put them back up and give me your marching order coming down those stairs with the lead person at the last part of the stairs. As you're descending the stairs, one of the boulders at the end of the hall seems to almost come alive, and it steps up on stumpy broad legs and it commands in a language terran to be precise it commands you to leave it speaks in what language terran uh primordial would also understand oh titus titus will translate for the group if no one else can being his native tongue wow nice your family then <laughs> <laughs> want to talk to the uh i just will like cock his head well calfon's uh pretty simple well then you'll understand the cock of the head <laughs> it's like no I, th I thought you were um right we we look nothing alike <laughs> uh titus will approach uh just say look we we are here trying to red this place of the uh the taint of the psionic menace it says that uh we dwell here peacefully, and we have nothing to do with that. Then leave us alone. We will leave you alone. You leave us alone. We are just searching to make sure there are no psionic menaces in this room. Very good. Um, you may not enter that room, however. Why not? That is where ha Hana lives. Uh, does she know about the psionic menace? No. She has nothing to do with it either. All right. Uh, do I believe them? Uh, yeah, everyone can make an insight check. A strong nine. They seem very um, forthright, very intentional in the words they use. Seem to definitely have an admiration for whoever this Hana person is. Nothing seems out of the ordinary. All right. Uh, what do you guys think? Maybe we should I'm... leave and go back to the armory and discuss. Yes, let's uh, let's go over here and look. We we can just we can just go through the other door. I'm curious as to who this Hana is, though. So you guys uh, back away, you're able to discuss freely. Uh, you see, as you're going through the door, the rock, step back down the stairs and merge with the rubble there to be almost indistinguishable. Can I try and like sneakily take a peek through this door? Yeah, certainly. All right, I'll make a sneaky sneak check. Oh, not very good. Uh, 
12 stealth. 12, yeah, 12. Okay. So you sneakily are pushing the door open. Everyone else can be where you want to be when he's doing that. Trying to look in to see if, uh, what you can see in the room. And what you see in the room is uh, walls carved with images of dwarven miners kneeling, kneeling in pious reflection. Statues of humans kneeling in corners. An altar against the east wall studded with sockets as though for gemstones. Studying the sockets carefully is a pensive woman. A short, rock-like creature is next to her. Uh, it has a stone stylus on a, and a stone slab on which it is taking notes. The woman hears and looks up at you. She says, who are you? Is she speaking in common? or? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, common. Oh, just a traveler here to um, cleanse the Temple of Dumathoin. Very well. Kneel as these others have, in reflection of the sanctity of the dwarven spirits here, as shown in the carvings. She invites you to come through the door and kneel. The, like, I look at the other human statues and I'm like, are those the ones that kneeled before me? She looks up at you. And with that, you see something move under her cowl of her cloak. And it falls away and a snake head comes out of it. So, everyone roll initiative. Oh no. Snakehead doesn't look sound very good. No. All right. <clears throat> so, Califon, you have heard what is happening here. Ozzy said, um, you tried, would I be like the other humans here? And Ozzy gives a little bit of a gulp and reaches for his weapons. What do you want to do? Um, I will step over. I don't know about the I can't metagame, so I don't know. I'll look through. He steps for his weapon. I okay. see the first one is the... Rock figure, and I'll, I'll shoot with the after ring yet. Do I have a save, Tom? Sorry, what are you saying? Do I have a save that I need to make before I shoot? A save? No, you do not. Okay. Um, you see a woman I will... uh, with snakes for hair, and you've heard of what that means. But uh, you don't have to save yet. All right. I will I will shoot. Uh, yep, I'll shoot on the rock creature. I don't think I can hit the woman in the back from where I'm at. Um, unless I can. Can I hit her? You can. I can? Yes, okay. well, you can. Uh, and then I'll do you the think first. you would know to avert your gaze? Uh, I am from Chult, so I believe I would. Okay. You may avert your gaze and shoot at her with disadvantage. Um, do I get a free action to tell that to Ozzy? <laughs> you can say whatever you want. Well, don't look at Ozzie, her. Ozzy, yeah, don't look at her. Like, go into this long that is a miss. discussion. Yep, and that's also a miss. Um, all right, and then I will move over here. Okay. Jeff. Uh, uh, so I got a measure of a little, yeah. Fact. Okay. Uh, move through little. So uh, it's kind of hard to get through there for sure. You're right. So it's one, two, three, four, because it's a hard corner. Five, six, difficult terrain. Seven, eight to get to that. 40 feet of move. Okay. Um, even the, if I'm small, is it still, I have to squeeze through there? It's difficult terrain. Yeah, it's just difficult terrain. Okay. Uh, uh, well then. Um, can't really do anything from there, so I'll instead of going there, can I go down here? Um, no. I mean, well, if you have forty-five feet of movement, you could. Hang, I don't want to get in anybody's way. Yeah, I'll just stay here. Okay. After Jeff comes, her she will move forward. When she sees you, like duck your head, Califon, not looking, shoots his arrows at her. She comes forward to two, three, four, five to there, going to do an attack with her hair and two swords. So first, there's stake here on you, on you, Ozzy. That's a 18 to hit for four piercing and 19 poison. Wow. Then a short sword is a miss, and the second short sword is also a miss, and she is done. And then Titus, your turn. All right. Well, we've got kind of a bottleneck. So what Titus is going to do is hold a produce flame in case he sees something that he can attack. We are going to move to there. And then we are going to bonus action command the fire spirit to fly on top of Loam and then fiery teleport all of us. Ooh, shrewd. So Titus gets to there. Loam can get to the space in front. <laughs> can I go there? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's what you can see, right? Loam can go there. Yeah, Loam, you can go there. Is it 15 okay. feet? Is that right? 15. Yeah, and you don't want yeah. to... The dragon's going to stay back. Or take damage. Your choice. Uh... Well, the dragon can go uh, behind Titus, I mean. Yeah, but that'd be adjacent to where the spirit was, wasn't it? Wasn't it here? 
Uh, no, the spirit was over here. It was right there when it teleported. Yep. Okay, then you're good. And then, and then the spirit will just teleport to that space, which doesn't matter because it's immune to its own fire. And then it will just fly to be on top of Caliphon and end its turn. Ozzy, your turn. Do you want to avert your gaze or look? Uh, I am honestly thinking about running away. <laughs> I, I was very badly injured by those snake hair. Um, I'm going to uh, action disengage, uh, hop up onto the bed, and command uh, Jenny to go get that snake lady. <laughs> All she right. charges in uh, aggressively. Will Jenny avert her gaze? Uh, that's a good question. I guess she's like intelligent enough to understand if I gave her that command. So yeah, she's as yes. smart as you are. So she will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually very true. <laughs> so she could attack uh, the snake woman with disadvantage if she likes. Sure. Yeah. She'll she'll nibble at her ankles. Ew, okay. Eight. After yes. Ozzy and the Dragon Loam, your turn. Okay. Well, Loam. We'll pull out his swords. You want to avert your gaze? Avert his gaze okay. and flail blindly at her. Ooh, that's nice. Nice. So that's um uh, ten. Got it. Swing again. Nice. Miss. Offhand blow. Hit again. Another hit. Great more. more. Okay. So Three. after loam comes the rock. He will go ahead and smash into. So what they'll do is go there, there, throw open that door, and then back to there, and smash in the loam, the slam. Uh, 14, it's a miss. And then, that door is sitting open now, the door to the south is open, I should put out here. Next to go is going to be Caliphon. All right, I'll move to here, let's move to there, I will advert my gaze. Um, longbow has been left in the passage, so please remind me. I will strike with my long sword, two-handed, um, at uh, disadvantage. Uh, Eleven Miss. misses. Um, I'm going to spend. Does does a fourteen miss? Fourteen missed. All right, I will spend a key point. If I remember, I'm doing this right. There we go. Uh, I will spend another key point to get to sixteen. Or do I have to do I have to declare it right away, or each time until I hit? Uh, just one's good enough. Okay, so I will sixteen to hit key point for seven. To hit. Got it. And I will throw a stun on. So I strike con save DC twelve and one more point of cold damage. And after Califon, got a rock creature. I get going. one more strike. It, I get one more strike. It, oh no! Wait, did I do two? And then I'll do my unarmed um, uh, strike with my talent. Fire away. All right. Uh, That's a hit. Eighteen for seven. I will throw on another key. Nope. I already called out the seven. I'll learn eventually. Um, okay. And I'll move back in the room. Yeah, we got a rock creature coming. To go come through the door to there. Attack the dragon. Uh, miss. And then Jeff, your turn. All right, bonus action hide. Mm. And I don't, I'm not sure if that worked. But then move up to here and attack the uh, snake-haired lady. 17 for 12. Um, assuming you're hidden. Is that what you're doing? Well, I got... Are you I've averting your gaze but... or not averting your gaze? Oh, uh, sorry, yes, averting my gaze. Okay. Uh, so your de- your stealth check was a 13? Yep. Okay, so you weren't hidden, so you missed with a 1. Okay. Then we'll try again. Once again. Bang. And then move to so 5. Move back to here again. Okay. Medusa's turn. She's going to go ahead and attack. Mm, she will two They're both averting their gaze. They don't hit her, so... She's going to go to there provoking from the dragon. If it's got its reaction, it can take it. If it hasn't used its uh, essence yet. No, yeah, it used its essence already. Okay. So. And she'll go to there, and then there, one, six, there. And actually, on the way by leaving Loam, she'll do multi attack on Loam. Stay care first. Missing? Oh, no. 15 still misses, though. And then short sword, 16, I think, still misses Loam. And another short sword missed again. And then ends up over ah. there. And then another rock creature goes. And moves to there and readies an attack if no one gets to him. And then Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to uh, see these creatures getting stacked up by the door. Mm-hmm. And it seems my companions are having a difficult time. So we are going to coalesce the embers of uh, the fire and uh, do what I've call, what's called a fairy fire. 
and we'll do start the square from the first Gil of Dur and get those all the bad guys that I think we know about. Of of course, of course. Like just yes. <laughs> Very dexterous rocks. Incredibly dexterous rocks. And Medusa. Yep. yep. One of yep. the rocks. So the very first rock is illuminated. Super. There you go. That was a that was an absolute amazing use of a first level spell. <laughs> and uh, you know, who who would think that rocks would be dexterous? Right. Uh, so then from there we will just uh flame seed and uh this will tell him to go all the way in and he'll be flying like above the statue. Does that make sense? Is that is that good, Tom? Yep. That works. All right, so he will he will flame seed the fairy fired one. Yeah, for a strong sixteen. Strong sixteen, not enough. End of turns. After that is Ozzy. Uh, all right, let's. Oh boy, do we want a smoke bomb? <laughs> we could try and run away. I could cast fog cloud, and uh, we could boogie. This is looking not great, but uh, up to you guys. So we could go sneak out the exit that they're right near? Sure. That's true, yeah. Um, all right. Let's get out the bow. I'll put the shield down on the bed and <laughs> pull out my bow. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take a couple of bow shots at this rock. The shield does take an action to take off, so that'd be does an it? action. Yep. Oh, man. All right, never mind. I'm going to go up and heal Loam. He's looking pretty rough. Uh, Cure Wounds, second level. Uh, 15 hit points back to you, Loam. Nice. Well done. And I will... Uh, do, do, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. I'll get back to the bed. And uh, command Jenny to give a give a chomp. Uh, 22 for six damage. Non-magical, if that's uh, important. It is. It does half. So, okay. After Ozzy comes Loam. All right, Loam will misty step to here. I and uh, get in touch with her breathing, the hissing of the snakes on her hair while not looking and attack. That is a 13. That is a 21 for a meager 10. Got it. And I'm done. The rock in the room will attack the dragon. Try to smash into it. Only a 10. And it's done. And then the round's over, and Califon, your turn. All right, Califon will move to here, yank out his javelin, and not look at Medusa. And I can see her from right here? Yep. All right. Now I'll throw my javelin of lightning at her at disadvantage. Sweet. If I can. You have inspiration. Use your inspiration. Oh, thank you very much. I will use my inspiration and silvert my eyes. I'll put a wing, and I will throw the javelin through my wing. And it'll go in slow motion. 15. 15 is a miss, but uh, they all have deck saves to make. DC 13. She made it. The rocks both fail. We'll take 13 lightning on each rock. And she took half of that. Um, six lightning. All right. Okay. Well, now. I will step, step forward and hit the talon for... If I attack this one, do I still have to avert my eyes? It doesn't matter. I guess. So Not 10 for, for 9. And then, Tens a miss. Uh, uh, 18 for 9. 18 is a hit. And then I will back up. Okay. Uh, now, the rock closest to Loam is going to use its power to animate boulders. That seems rude. Two more boulders very come out of the rubble over here. And then they will go. I see he's going to do that. Then he's going to go ahead and he'll stay there. And then the rocks that he's got and change his name B. They come rolling up the stairs, charging at Loam with a slam. Loam dodges after the first one. The other one doesn't get up to full speed before he slams into Loam, and Loam dodges that one as well. And then Jeff, your turn. I'm going to double move and start heading the other way. All right. Medusa's turn. Medusa will head. Uh, going to let Loam have it with Snake Hair uh, missing, and then Short Sword critting for 13 Loam. And hitting again for six more loam. And then she will go two, three, four, five, six to there. She's done. And then we got some rocks going. Uh, the one that was readied that don't ever get next to. I'm unreadied. Ah, leave that on that off. Ready it off. He'll uh, go to here to attack. No, he won't attack. Loam. He'll go to there. And then there. And then animate two more of the boulders. Good grief. 
There we go. And then those animated ones will go. It's going to take all their move to get up there. Double move in. And then Titus, your turn. All righty then. Um, one of those guys is still fairy fired, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Um, the one that's north of Loam, I should make it different color than purple on the other two. At least them. Yeah, I'm Just making, making them sure, you know. Yep. All right. Uh, so we'll move up and uh, hearing all these bouldering happening. <laughs> Uh, not seeing the extent. Uh, Loam, how are you doing out there? Oh, I'm just dandy. Do, do you want to come back in here? Um, I don't know. So yeah, I guess so. All right. So then, with that, uh, we are going to produce a flame on that one. Uh, so that should hit for. I didn't catch fire. which one you were. The that one there. One. That is it. Um, sixteen or no, fourteen fire. Fourteen fire. Got it. And then uh, bonus action. Uh, so the spirit is going to go hover uh, on top of the pink one here. So it'll provoke from the one I just fired. Okay. Um, slam attack. Hey, that definitely hits. 17 and... for 16 bludgeoning. Oh, and... Uh, oh, I'm not prone. Okay, that's good. So we hover on top of that one, and then it fiery teleports. All right. I got five deck saves. Seven fire. Two, three. Made it, made it, failed it, failed it. Last three failed. So much. And he'll end up back where he was at since that guy's already provoked. And Loam, you can teleport 15 feet. Ozzy, your turn. All right. Um, this place is wild. You said that there's a dais with like slots for gems yeah. in the room? Um, you find. Okay, the walls are covered with images of dwarven miners kneeling in pious reflection, statues of humans kneeling in the corners, very lifelike. Altar against east wall is studded with sockets as though for gemstones. And that is it. Are they about the right size for the gemstones that we found? Um, they are not, unfortunately. Darn. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, yeah, I'm coming up. I'm stabbing a, I'm stabbing a rock. That is... Uh, yeah, 27 for 15. That is a hit. And... I'll move from one side to one side or the other after you're done. Uh... I want that space. Okay, no problem. Uh, I will uh, swing again. Uh, yeah, that should probably hit for 11 magical damage there. Okay. And then uh, Jenny is going to have a jump. Uh, 21 for, oh, geez, 13? Although uh, I think see, half seven, on the seven, so. Yeah, seven does four, so seven total. Okay. All right, that's me. Loam, your turn. All right, Lomo's there, probably provoking from that one. Uh, this one over dude. here, west of the dragon, slamming low. This one. And then I'll use my javelin of lightning on the one in the last, the last one in the conga right. line. And nine Not lightning, great damage. Three dex saves, five of two. First one makes it, takes four. Second one fails, it takes five. Then fail, fail, fail. So that'll take, um, not five, nine. So four more to that one. And then nine to all the rest. Okay. After Loam comes a rock. Uh, the one you, right next to you, Loam. You can go ahead and disengage this action. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, check something. That's right. All of you flee with your mistress. <laughs> That's it for that one. And then, uh, let's see, this guy, G, gangster. He's going to summon up two more boulders. Wow. And this is how the entire planet of Toril was covered in... <laughs> Caliphon, can you patient defense in the doorway so that more can't come in? Oh, okay, then those two uh, are going to go 1, 2, 5, it says 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to there. One is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to there. All right, they are done. Round is over. Caliphon, your turn. All right, I don't know if this is going to work, and I apologize if it doesn't. I will move in front of Loam, and I will cast my only spell. Um, and see if it, I don't know. Uh, Rock to mud, of, I hope. Gust of wind. Ah, uh, good thought. Will it work, though? And I can't find it, Tom, on my... Probably not I've built in. Uh, so gust of wind. I remember not being built in before. Okay. Gust of wind from being uh, what you are, right? Aarakocra. Yep. Yes. Uh, features. Gust of wind. Okay. Concentration. Duration of a minute. It is a line, 60 feet long, 10 feet wide, blasting from you in a direction you choose. The spell's direction, duration. Mm -hmm. Each creature that starts its turn in the line must succeed on a strength saving throw. Be pushed 15 feet away from you in the direction following the line. 
uh, two feet of movement to close every foot uh, against the wind. Disperses gas or vapors, extinguishes torches and su such. And a bonus action each of your turns before the spell ends, you can change the direction of the blast. There you go. All right. I will gust of wind to west. Okay. After Caliphon. Uh, first boulder in your gust of winds going. So it has strength saving throw. Be pushed 15 feet away from you in the following the line of strength save. Okay, that rock resists. And it's going to go ahead and we'll attack Caliphon. With a slam. 16 Caliphon. It's 16 bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. He's done. Uh, oh, he's got this guy comes up to here. If he can make a strength save. Let me do the con, right? He does I make the do, strength save. That's a concentration, right? Yep. Easy 10. Yeah, so it, it drops. Oh, no. Uh, comes there and attacks Caliphon with a slam. Uh, 16 for 21 bludgeoning this time. Yep. It's that one goes there. They are done. Lose his turn. She's good. Did I skip you, Jeff? Yeah, I think I just got skipped. You yeah. did. Your turn, Jeff. Difficult. Yeah. Turn. Okay, so. And the first door is free. The second door is not. Oh, oh that closed. I would assume so. Oh. Ooh. Um. Well, then, never mind this whole thing. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I'll move up here. If it's open, then I'll just move up there and okay. uh, bonus action hide. Alrighty. It. Now I'm gonna just turn. One, two, three, four, five there no one visible there so she'll ready she gets out her bow and readies her bow she's done rocks verified rocks can go one two three four five six seven, eight to there and then this one's gonna go one two three to there and he will smash caliphon slam hitting for 15 caliphon yep that and i'll lay flat okay and then this one will roll over your flatness and smash into loam slam Missing low. And it's done. And Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, so Titus is going to move up and touch Caliphon's body. Ooh. Uh, in, a, in a hopefully a good touch. Mm -hmm. And we'll do a first level cure for 11. Nice. And then uh, we will bonus action. Uh, does everybody want to move? I mean, I wouldn't be against it. All right, uh, then we're going to go right on top of the middle pink one. Uh, so does that... Am I within five feet of Caliphon? Because these guys are pretty small, right? Um, who? Yeah, you're, Titus is within five feet of Caliphon. Well, no, I'm saying the spirit if I'm on top of the square. Basically, he's flying right above the Galeb door that's on top of oh, Caliphon's head. It, I'm just yeah, avoiding it, more token-on-token token action. <laughs> it would get Caliphon, but Caliphon can teleport, so... Well, right. That's what I'm. Do I just want to make sure I can get to Caliphon with. Yes. It. Yeah. So, so with that, we will fiery teleport, and everybody needs to move. You need to all move at least one square away from where Caliphon's currently at, to a space you can see within three spaces where you're currently at. And I got four saving throws. Made it. Made it. Failed it. Failed it. So two take four. The bottom two. Yep. Minus four on that guy. And minus four on this guy. And this and guy right here. Let's see. He's got a concentration sort of... check, which he fails. And guy again is that one. This rock disappears, and that rock disappears. Interesting. All right, there you go. We could do this. See, end of turns. After Titus comes Ozzy. Oh boy. Uh, I'll look over at Loam and just be like, "Do you want to run?" <laughs> And sort of like motion towards the door uh, for him to, to get behind me. And I'll come up and try and uh, shove this Galeb door out of the way. I'm not very good at it, so let's see how I do. Oh, no. Athletics of a 10. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I, I try and push against it and realize I'm much too weak. So I will stab it instead. Uh, yeah, no, this is going to miss 11. Uh, Jenny will come and try and bite him. She also misses. Oh, I'm your turn. Are we running out of this room? Better to fight them in a choke point. Attack the ones that aren't the bouldery looking ones. Okay, well, I am going to sh bouldery looking ones. They all look like boulders. The ones that look less like boulders. Like that they weren't they weren't Gale of Doer like two minutes ago. Yes, uh, I think is, that's is there a the way one to tell by the Tom? door. Uh, not really. They all look the same. I, I feel that's very elementalist. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Lum? 
Uh, I'm going to shoot a couple of arrows at the one by the door. Okay, fire away. One. 18, 18 is a hit. For 17 points of damage. 17. Concentration check. DC 10. Made it. Ugh, too much con constitution there. Uh, we'll give it another shot. Take nice. that now. Nice. And 16? 16, yep. Um, well, it's a crit, so uh, I guess I only do, yeah, 16. 16. Uh, concentration check for this guy. DC 10. Drop two more. Nice. Mm. This guy. Make sure who this is. Who's that? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, nothing else drops. Medusa drops. That guy already failed a concentration check, so... <laughs> Uh, anything else, Lum? Uh Get the two weakest. We're going to turn the tide. Anything else, Lum? Uh Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, okay. Get the two weakest, turn the tide. No, I don't have anything else. All right, here comes the rocks. Mm, this guy's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, there. And then these guys are going to go 2, 3, 4, 5 to there and slam into Lum. 15 is a miss, and then this guy, two, three, four, five, six to there, and then hit Ozzy with a slam. 26 Ozzy for 17 bludgeoning. Oh, Ozzy! After that comes Califon. Califon will stand up. Um, I guess I can't occupy the same space as the dragon. Um, so, uh, all right, so I'll stand up, move over, I'll move over here. Uh, and I will longsword the crap out of this one at the bottom. Uh, Miss. Thank you. Miss. And then bonus action. Miss. Miss. I'll yeah. just leave. I'll <laughs> just leave. I'll just I'll be going out here. Okay. Uh, next to go is that guy in the corner there. He will. He'll go to. He'll disengage. One, two, three, four, five, six to there. And then Jeff, your turn. Okay. Um. So I hid last time. I'm gonna. Open this door. Free action, right? Mm-hmm. Then, oh, man. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to move one south and then attack the northernmost rock guy. Okay. Yes. That Ooh. is a hit. And does it kill them? Oh, okay. for seven. Sorry. For seven? I'm, yeah, I'm not. Hit for seven. Dropped them. And everyone in that room dies. This one crumbles and that one crumbles. Oh, Excellent. nice job. I don't know and what then, happened, but that was great. <laughs> uh, and then with my second attack, um, I'm going to mm, move. Well, actually, can I, I hit the southern most guy from here? Sure. Or I have to move? Go for it. Okay. Try that. Ooh, probably not. 14. Miss. For seven. Okay. Then I'm going to get the heck out of here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, hold up there. Once okay. she knows you're there, as soon as you finish your attack, she'll take her ready to action and fire oh, okay. a on you. Won't go on you. Uh, 19 to hit. That is a hit. 11 piercing and 12 poison. 23. Okay. It's like a snake away. arrow from Conan. Yeah. Okay. Finish your move where you want. And it's her turn. So let me know when you're done moving, Jeff. Oh, cool. Jeff. I can get back here, I think. And then hide. All right. She'll go one, two, five, six, seven. Then that guy's gonna go, and then the two pink ones goes to there to attack Lone with a slam. Sixteen is a miss, and attack Ozzy with a slam. Seventeen is a miss, and then your turn, Titus. All right, Titus charges up into the middle. Oh. I'm going to ready a produce flame uh, for if I see a bad guy out in the hall. And then bonus action, we have the uh, f spirit come in, and only I get the teleport as we fiery teleport out into the hall. And that happens. It's a strong four. Mm -hmm. Big saves. Boom, boom. We made it with Delta. It took four. And then I see this guy out here. Yep. And I pop him with my ready deck. And I miss horribly. End of turn. <laughs> After Titus Ozzy. All right. Uh, wow. We've seen better days. Sorry, we're going after the weakest ones? Is that what you said? Yes. Uh, I don't know if I can... No, if I go through here, they're going to free strike me and kill me. Uh, let's go for some sword swings. Nice. Uh, that should hit for 14. Okay, got it. Uh, we'll throw another D6 cold on there. Nice, six damage. 
And 16 to hit for 12. So a hit. All right. Jump. Not uh, 11. All right. You turn them. Oh, Misty steps into the hall, sees the one near, and fires his longbow. Hit. 24 for 11. You mean 12? 12. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you're paying attention. And it's still alive, so yep. we'll go for another 22 for... Dropped him. 12. Dropped him. Right. This time it's definitely a 12. <laughs> yeah, this time. Uh, Calif on your turn. Nothing right. disappears? Nothing disappears. Right. One, two, that guy has three, already four. made and failed two concentration checks. One more Seven. than he should have had to make. Yeah. So uh, 26 for 6. That was a key point with Death Strike. Okay. Um, I will miss and hopefully kill him with a Talon. 21 for, for 7. Got it. After Calipon comes Jeff. I'll move. Uh, double moving. After Jeff uh, comes the pink ones. There to attack Calipon with a slam. Please. Ridding you for 17, Calipon. Yep, that hits. Staying here and attack an Ozzy with a slam. Uh, hitting Ozzy for 19. Oh, I'm down. And then move into there after that. And then Ozzy death safe. Uh, is got skipped. Is, I'll just roll a 20. Titus got skipped. You're good. Oh, go ahead, Titus. All right. Uh, so with that, Titus is going to uh, reach down. I spent all your career ruins on me. <laughs> uh, well, I, I got one more first level. So uh, <laughs> here goes this as I give a cure wounds to the bird. And you get 11 back. Thank you so much. I was doing so good. And then what we're going to do is we are going to bonus action, put the spirit right on top of Caliphon, and then we're going to fiery teleport from there for a, a strong four, because that D6 only rolls ones. Did I have a fiery teleport save to make? Two of them? Yeah, two of them. Two of them. Boom, boom. Both Yay, fail. that's Both what Rock should do. And then I'll have to worry about Ozzy after we get these other guys done. End of turns. And low your turn. Ozzy is down, right? Mm -hmm. right? Nowhere near. Except blocked by those two rocks. And he made one death save. Loam's moving. Califon, go ahead. All right. Um, I'm going to move over here. Um, I'm going to attack with the longsword, the one that's weak. Uh, 20... 22, uh, 22 for 8. Got it. Alright, I'm going to strike it again and miss, and I am going to talon it and miss, and um, I'm going to move away. Jeff, your turn. Uh, I'm going to try to thread the needle and hit the weakest of those rock guys. Ooh, that's a 15 for 8. 15 uh, as a miss. Dang it. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. That's 28 for 7. Dropped him. All right. Uh, bonus action. Well, I'm going to move and bonus action died. Okay. That one comes out here to attack Titus with a slam. Uh, hitting you, Titus. Sorry, class 25 for 13 bludgeoning. I use then... words like stop, no, or don't. <laughs> Titus, your turn. All right. Uh, Titus is going to move around the Gale of Doer. Look and reaching not being able to touch Ozzy's prone form. And then we'll uh, kind of get down like he's about to touch uh, and is going to ready a Cure Wounds level 2 for if Ozzy's <laughs> body gets within reach of him. <laughs> and then bonus action, tell the spirit to come give me the alley-oop. Mm -hmm. I get on top of the Gale of Doer, I fiery teleport... On the Gale of Door. Look, the die, the D6 rolled something other than a one. Or he'll come down here. And then I end up right next to him. And of this course, is the, the guy Rube Goldberg uh, turn here. Okay, all done. Uh, do your healing. Uh, I'm trying to find a spell. <laughs> there it is. All right. Uh, Ozzy heals uh, 18. Perfect timing. Ozzy, your turn. Very nice. All right. Let's get him, Jenny. I'm going to run up and uh, <laughs> try and stab this thing. Oh, <laughs> The pointy end. Oh, 13 misses. Miss. Jenny, oh. get him. Jenny oh, yeah, goes Jenny. for a chomp again. That's a hit for nine. 20 for nine. There or you four go. and two is six. Because now magic. And then Lomi turn. 
I'm moving. I'm moving, and then Kyle, on your turn. All right, I'll move up. I will miss. I will hit seven. Nineteen, and I, and I will for seven. But I will try to use my last, my last key point for a stun. Not stun. And I will, um, I'll kick it as I'm running away. A That's seventeen a for seven. Seven more. Ah. And then Jeff. All right, I'm trying to take this last guy down. Yeah, for yeah eight. twenty for eight, and have it again for eleven. Eleven more. Okay, then it goes. It's going to attack the Drake behind it. Slam attack on the Drake. Uh, only an 11. And then Titus. All right, produce flame. Uh, moving up a little bit, but I'll do it after my Okay, I think you guys can wrap that one up with one there more you round. Go. Takes nine and then the fiery seed. So you finish that off. Oh, yes, with the crit from the uh, spirit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that boulder crumbles into rock. Leaving you guys here. Um, the Medusa who, fled who to the wants, north. Who wants to shut that door? Um, I think that we are in need of a long rest. Yes, who wants to shut that door? Maybe lock it, and uh, mm -hmm. we just hang out here for a while, like eight hours. Well, we have yes. an immovable rod. Immovable rod. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We should uh, find the most defensible position, put the immovable rod there, and take a nap. <laughs> All right. You want to do that? Yes. All right. Yeah, maybe this bedroom here would be uh, a good a good spot. Or where you're at now works too. Uh, oh, you're talking no. about the rod in front of the big doors. Uh, I don't think it would work, right? Because they open out. Yeah, there's two big doors too. Yeah. You well, put it right I'm in front of the two like... of them, but the problem is they just grab it from the other side. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I, I. Why don't we go back to where the drow were sleeping? Okay. Yeah. Let's oh, see. No, there's a secret spot. door in there. Let's go to the library where we were attacked. Yeah. Yeah. Library seems like okay. a good spot. Does that door open in? Uh, it makes sense for it too. Yeah. Okay, then yes, we put uh, the the it on that side. Yes, we do that. <clears throat> All right. Nap time. <laughs> that is where we will stop. We'll pick up. Uh, you don't need to submit your characters. Could be the same level. Um, you'll basically have. Assuming you've used nearly all your hit dice, you'll have half of your hit dice when we start next time. But all your hit points and all your daily powers. And we can split up this treasure, which you found an immovable rod. You found three other things. Um, Potion of Invulnerability, Eyes of Minute Seeing, and Periapt of Health. So everyone roll a straight d20. You might want any of those items. That's for getting my charges back. I'm okay. good. It's back full. Here comes the d20. One, two, three, I think we have to roll off, Titus. All right, first person to pick is, yeah, Titus Amani Roloff. Got a strong eight. Big one. Okay, Titus, your first pick. <laughs> um, You know what? That What does the parry up do? Parry up to health? It gives know. you a 19 con. Um, You know what? That that ain't too shabby. And I can definitely uh, I can definitely lose one of the uh, uh, other items that I've got. The, uh, the, the com portal compass hasn't been too helpful. Okay, so that'll be added to the selection for the other part of you guys uh let's see this is what a portal compass does for your reference um points in a direction of last portal it passed through but on the same plane it is an uncommon item okay so uh paraptive health to titus second pick is ozzy there is um potion of invulnerability eyes of minute seeing immovable rod and portal compass uh i'll take the the glasses eyes of minute seeing. eyes of minute seeing okay Ozzy takes glasses. And Ozzy, I don't think you have very many magic items at all, do you? Nope. Okay. The next pick is going to be, um, looks like Loam. Uh, what was that uh, potion of invulnerability? Got it. And are you good for potions? You can have up to seven right now. Um, well, I might have to drink a healing potion, but yeah, I think I, I, think I got room for it. Okay. Uh, then last but not least, or fourth, third pick, fourth pick, is um, Califon, I think? Um, There's two I'll things pass, left. I'll, You're um, passing? Yeah, um, well, I'll take the portal compass, actually. Portal I, compass? I think okay. I have a archer, races of archery, and longsword, and a javelin. So I have room, right? You can have four items. One, two, yeah. three, and now four. Yeah. yeah okay, I'll then that the leaves portal. Jeff. I'll pass. This is only the, the only thing left is the movable rod. Yeah, I'd have to drop. Would anyone like the so, movable rod? 
Uh, I will drop my javelin of lightning for the immovable rod. If no Would one anyone else, else like the immovable rod, uh, I'll I'll take it. If I mean, I'll take a javelin of lightning too. That's <laughs> both are good items. Which would you prefer, Loam? Um, the immovable rod, because that's hella fun. Okay, Loam gets the rod. It and is super fun. Ozzy gets the javelin. Sick. Okay, guys, uh, playing again in a week. Uh, same time, same level. And you guys are close to getting to the thing you need to get to to gain a level, but that'll be at the end of the next session. All right. Most likely. Super oh, fun. A long rest, though, right? Between... You do get a long rest. Okay, cool. Um, I guess you'll take days. care of uh, gold and post that somewhere? I will post that, yep, in the next couple of days. Beauty. You do not need All to right. resend me your character. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Good night, Thank everybody. You.